And I welcome back everyone to another episode of the unboxing of Anime Loot. Loot, Loot Anime? Loot Anime! I keep forgetting the way the name is pronounced. Today, uh, today's theme this month, well, this box's month's theme is Equip, which was back in... Oh, I've got to check it again. I believe it's March. March or April. Something like that. And, uh... Let's just get right to opening it, right? <laughs> no need to postpone it anymore. As you might know, well, just one small thing to say. As you might know, this is a very belated video, so again, sorry about that. Things happen. But this is number two in our catch up series, I suppose. So let's get moving and get right to unboxing. Okay, let's see what we got in this one. As said, this theme is uh, Equip. It's, I think, was a fighting theme of some sort. So let's see what this box will contain. Okay, so instantly we have a ooh, really fancy box, which we'll get back to. But instantly we have a t-shirt, and I can already just by here tell that it's a Kill a Kill, uh, kill a la Kill t-shirt. I have not watched that series, so I have no idea what it's about. But it's a very simple design. Uh, I quite, I kind of like this design actually for the for the T-shirt. It, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a character. I will admit this series seems a bit too fan servicey for my taste when it comes to the clothing. It just looks ridiculous. Um, but I've heard that it's good, so I might give it a chance of watching. Not that you guys will ever really know, but. Uh, but yeah, this t-shirt, plain white t-shirt, not to be confused with a band from back in the mid late 90s. But that's a pretty nice one, nonetheless. Next up, we have something in a plastic bag. Also, this is from Akame Ga Kill, more killing. We just open this. This here seems to be... Ah, ooh, it's a bag for when you go shopping. I've actually been needing one of these. So that's really nice that we, I get one of these. I should have opened this months ago. <laughs> this again has a weapon feature design. It seems like there's quite a few loose threads here. Not in the... Oh, there's one here. Too bad. Well, can't expect a world, you know. But the design is really nice. Color scheme reminds me a bit of Monokuma from Danganronpa, but that's completely different. I believe there might be some Danganronpa stuff in one of the future grades, but this one? This, this is pretty nice. I like it. I like it. Next up we have... A Dragon Ball Scouter, I kid you not. I wonder which color... If it's the one... Oh, it's a green version. A green Scouter. Well, uh... Obligatory... Not 09000 joke. What does the Scouter say? That's a old meme. I will wait with opening this. Uh, there will be pictures of me with it during this, but for now it's just uh, leave it in the box here. Um, it's adjustable, it says. Ooh, how to play. I don't even know if it does anything. Open the black band as shown. Insert the black band. Is it? Is there. I wonder if there's audio or anything in. I have no idea. We'll I'll figure that out. Next up we have this peculiar box. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Oh, that's a game that was released uh, recently. Is Well, at the time that this box was made, it was probably recently. But now it's probably quite a while ago. Just pull off the tape from one side here. And let's have a look, see at what do we have in here. Ooh. Okay. This is a sword of some sort, I believe. It looks. It's made of plastic. It's made of very fine plastic. There's nothing else in here. Is, is there any explanation as to what it is on the box? Oh, there. Vrasalos sword pen replica pen. Are you kidding me? This is a pen. I think it might be a pen. It says, if you can read it, that is. It says pen. I wonder if it can actually write on stuff. I'm not gonna test. <laughs> that is pretty neat. I do 
not know what to do with this because I'm not really a fan of that series, but I can I can get behind it. It's a, it's a neat little thing. If nothing else, I like the box. <laughs> I'm a sucker for nice looking boxes. It looks it looks real nice. It looks real nice. Next up, we have some candy, just like last box. This time, it's high chew with mango flavor. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know about mango. It uh, natural, natural and artificial flavors. Stay active. Eat high chew. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Is this like energy chewing gum? Who knows? I don't. That's for certain. Okay. It says here, natural and artificial flavors, but there's no artificial colors. Ooh, I have no idea. Again, I might try this together with someone at some point. Maybe I should just gather a bunch of this and make a taste testing video as well. <laughs> together with someone. That might be fun. That might be fun. Ooh, next up we have a manga of one of my favorite series of anime I've watched in a long time, which is Steins Gate. Which, by the way, just got released in Steam, uh, as a, the original visual novel. I will definitely be reading this. The only problem is that I have to end up getting the rest of the, the manga. Well, this art style is much different from the anime, I must say that. Mr. Foxy is cute. <laughs> but yeah, this... Uh, I can definitely say that I recommend Steins Gate, if nothing else, the anime. Definitely the anime. It is really good. Actually, um, let's just read the summary here. What do you get when you cross a microwave with a cell phone? Apparently, a time machine. Self-proclaimed math scientist Hoen Kyoma and the future gadget team now have the ability to send text messages into the past. Will they use this newfound power for personal gain to change the world over something much more sinister? Find out in Stein's game. So if that called your interest, then... Uh, I recommend go reading it. So, obligatory... Yeah, I should stop using that word. We have the uh, phone strap. Coming up next. Goodness, not... Well, I should really move. This time, it seems to be a sword and a shield design that they've gone for. Also really nice. Once again, has both the strap and the block, which makes it very handy no matter which type of phone you have. And... Uh, I think it's... I think it's metal, I'm not sure. It feels like glass, metal, plastic, can't tell. But it's nice looking, I will say that. Another one for the collection. I should probably have those hanging in the background as well. That, uh, oh, it even has, it even says three on it to indicate that this is episode three of the loot anime. <laughs> Last but not least, for the box itself, that is, we have the poster, of course, which also will give an explanation as to what everything is. First, let's take a look at the artwork. This time it's illustrated by Rosori. And it looks like this. Oh, wow, that is awesome looking. With a phoenix at the bottom and everything. This is definitely also going up on the wall behind me at some point. It might not happen until after these nine episodes are done, but. Episode 10 then, episode 10, or well, episode 11 I guess. So, this time I actually knew most of what we got. So we had the phone strap, kill the kill, Dragon Ball C scout, Stance Gate, a chemical kill, I have no idea what it is actually. That's serious. There we go, Haichu candy pack. Keep your energy up with the best of accessories. This is a chewing snack. As an alternative to chewing gum, these sugary squares are a must have for your sparring supplies. I have no idea. It sounds like energy chewing gum stuff. Oh, the pen was inside! Oh! The uh, sword pen. I will probably have that in the video itself, but before I know it is here, but. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice poster, I will say once again. These artists that they picked are so good. Now let's have a look at what the crate actually is. So when we open it up, the first thing I'm going to check... Does it open further? Yeah. 
Does it open further? It does ish. Uh, kinda. Kinda. We get the oh wait a second. Can I? I think I know what I can do. I can probably turn this inside out and create a new crate out of it. That's fine enough. Okay, I'm gonna straight up say this. This has to, by far, be my favorite crate design. Look at this. It could be switched inside out like this. They, oh, I really hope they do that for the rest of the crates as well. This is so cool. It even looks amazing. This is, this is a great idea. This way there's a point to keeping the crate. Because the others are kind of like, they would be nice to keep, but it's kind of weird having a black box standing around and then you have to open it to be like, ooh, it looks nice inside. This, on the other hand, you just turn it inside out and it actually becomes a really nice decorative crate that you can use. It even has all the symbols from the different things that are in it, just like the other ones had. I, uh, I really like this design. This is amazing. Well, I dare say that this month's loot crate, this month, well, you know, this loot crate was a really good one. I mean, for me, the box is really just the top of, that is just the creme de la creme, it's the, well, that's the wrong term. It, it's what made this box even more awesome than it already was. Of course, it always helps that I was already a fan of Steins Cake to start with, and I got the manga of that, at least the first volume. Uh, awesome poster, awesome keychain. No, wait, not key chain. Full strap, as per usual. Always good to have more t-shirts, can never have too many of those. And the shopping bag is gonna be so useful. Well done, well thought through. I don't really know about the... Uh... <laughs> I don't really know about the scout. I feel like it's not gonna work very well for me, especially with the glasses. Nope, it's weird. Maybe, maybe I know someone who wants that. <laughs> Apparently you can also get it in red. Probably have preferred that actually. Could you get? Yeah, no, there's no audio or anything in it. It's just visual. So yeah, I am um, very much approve of this this box. It was a good haul. But yeah, uh, that's this box as a set. Once the next time, please do take care. I will see you by then. I hope for at least, and uh, we will be picking up with. I don't remember. Haunted. Haunted is the next theme. <laughs> we'll be continuing with haunted next time. And then please do take care. Bye for now. Agenda, what does the scouter say? And I must look like a fool because now I come to think of it, there's people across the street who were being like, who is actually training. Like, Whoa. and if I'm not completely wrong, well, the sun is going in on my window, so he might not be able to see me. Fingers crossed. Because otherwise it will look weird for a dude in the corner of his room to be like... Recording things like this and just shouting like an idiot. Well... Oh uh, yeah... I cannot believe I did not realize this was actually a pen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It reminds me a bit of... Looking at this, it reminds me a bit of a larger version of what you could probably get in a Kellogg's box though. It feels a bit flimsy, as you can probably hear. It's not really the best quality, but hey... Or if you're a fan of, what was it again? Monster Hunter, it's probably a good good deal. Oh uh, yeah, I really do like this crate. This is amazing. I love it. They're probably not gonna do it again, but I love it. I can't believe I'm so excited about a freaking box. Am I just getting old? Or am I just weird? Or a combination of both, who knows? Anyway, yeah, I should probably. I really don't have anything for this post, uh, for this end slate, so that's just me rambling. Once next time, please do take care. Bye for now.